Synology Disk Station DS716 Plus to review. By now, most of our readers should be familiar with the name Synology. While the first Synology NAS unit we reviewed, the Disk Station DS215J, was a member of the J series targeted at home users. The unit we have today is part of the Plus series, with offerings for small and medium sized businesses. This means that DS716 Plus 2 comes at a premium compared to the DS215J, and this is justified not only in terms of beefed up hardware, but the build quality as well. While the DS215J felt a little flimsy when opened, that's definitely not the case with DS716 Plus 2. The Unit 1 looks really slick in black and has a metallic finish worthy of its positioning in the Synology lineup. Anyone familiar with the Synology naming scheme will recognize that the DS716 Plus 2 comes with a support for a total of 7 drive bays, but it's worth noting that the base unit itself has only 2 drive bays, each capable of supporting a 10TB drive, giving you a theoretical 20TB of storage, without redundancy. To bump it up to 7 drives, an overall capacity of 70TB, you will need to buy the Synology DX513 that costs ours. 55,000 in India, over and above what you will pay for the DS716 Plus 2, and the drives to fill all those extra bays. The DS716 Plus 2 comes with 2 gigabit Ethernet ports at the back, which offer redundancy in case one of the links goes down, a feature that will definitely be appreciated by the enterprise users. You also get two USB 3.0 ports at the back, and an eSATA port as well. The rear also features the reset button, a Kensington security slot to keep the unit secure, and of course the power port and the fan. Apart from the two drive bays, each of which has a drive status indicator LED of its own, the front has a status indicator that gives you an idea of the overall health of the NAS unit. Below that there are the two LAN indicators, with the power button at the bottom right of the front side of the unit. In between, you have a USB 3.0 port and a copy button which lights up when you connect a USB drive or a camera, and can be used to copy data from the connected device to the Synology unit. We moved our two drives from the DS215J to the DS716 Plus 2 by following simple instructions on the Synology website. Between our previous review and now, Synology pushed a big software update to most of its NAS units in the form of DMS 6.0, which brings a bunch of new features and enhancements. We talked about the Synology package system in our previous review, and one of the additions with the DSM 6.0 update is the Mail Plus server package that turns your DS716 Plus 2 into a fledged email server. Mail Plus needs a license to work, and one that you can use for up to 5 users is bundled for free with the DS716 Plus 2. If you want to use it for more than 5 users, you need to buy an additional license. Mail Plus Server includes basic functionality like spam control and another bundled package called Mail Plus that acts as a fledged webmail client. You even get a mobile app that you can use as an email client on your Android or iOS device. The Mail Plus Server comes with POP3 and IMAP support so you can of course use your favorite third-party email clients such as Outlook or Apple Mail. We set up the email server using one of our test domains with a couple of users, and found that everything worked as you'd expect. Admittedly. We didn't test this functionality with any kind of a load that the unit would see in a real organization, but in our limited tests the unit seemed more than capable of handling a fair amount of load for a small to medium sized organization that doesn't have to deal with crazy amounts of email. Synology says the server can handle 81,300 emails per day, with 50 the recommended upper limit for the number of mail plus clients. Another feature on the DS716 Plus 2 that will appeal to enterprise customers is its ability to act as storage for VMware, Microsoft Hyper-V, and Citrix platforms. Of course you will need a license from the respective vendors and you will also have to set up the servers, but this makes the Synology unit an ideal storage ground for most of your virtualization needs. The DS716 Plus 2 also comes with a built-in VPN server with support for up to 20 simultaneous connections. DSM 6.0 also brings a brand new search feature that lets you quickly run full content searches across your unit, or selected folders slash volumes, from the File Explorer app on the Synology. The server searches through over 700 file formats, including looking through metadata of media files if you want. The update also brought in support for BTRFS, adding to the choice of file systems available for your disk when you are setting up the unit. 
Synology has shared a host of technical information detailing why it believes BTRFS is a better file system, and if you are setting up a new system, there are enough advantages to use it to format your drives. The disk station DS716 Plus 2 is powered by an Intel Celeron in 316064-bit quad-core processor clocked at 1.6 GHz, capable of burst speeds up to 2.24 GHz, accompanied by 2 GB of RAM. The chip comes with a dedicated hardware encryption engine, ZNI, which means you can keep your data secure with minimal overhead and loss of performance. Synology says the DS716 Plus 2 is capable of average read speeds of 226.1 Mbps and 141.19 Mbps write speed under RAID 1 configuration, though your experience may vary depending upon the software and hardware environment, including the drives you use inside the unit. Interestingly, with encrypted data transmission, the DS716 Plus 2 is capable of hitting speeds of over 226.09 Mbps reading and 138.04 Mbps writing, which is an insignificant difference compared to unencrypted data, underlining the importance of hardware encryption on the unit. This makes the DS716 Plus 2 a great pick for anyone who values protection of their data. The other headline feature of the unit is hardware transkitting engine which may appeal to businesses looking to run a streaming server off their Synology unit, but in the real world will be music to the ears of anyone looking to run Plex or similar setups at their home. Not only can Disk Station DS716 Plus 2 transcode MKVs and other non-native file formats on the go and serve them to the Apple TV and apps on your smartphones and tablets, it is also capable of transcoding and streaming 4K video at 30fps to one client, or three simultaneous full HD streams. Note that these limits are for transcoding, an operation that requires converting the file from one format to the other in real time, but if the media players can natively read the file format, you can have dozens of clients connecting to the server simultaneously without any problems. Like we briefly touched upon in our Disk Station DS215J review, Synology has a rather elaborate setup of apps, each for a specific use case. Given the Disk Station DS716 Plus 2's strength as a video server, we spent a lot of time with the DS Video app on our iPad and our new Apple TV and came to fall in love with it, especially on the smaller screen. Before you can start streaming videos, you will need to install the Video Station package on the Synology unit.